Hello everyone, welcome back and welcome to viewers to some more Stormworks. If you were with us last time, we were working on our VTOL and we had some issues with it. Uh, I do believe I have figured out what is wrong with it. And it's thanks to all the suggestions in the comments. I was able to kind of have a list of things that I could go through and check. I had my own list of things to check, but I think I did finally figure it out. But I want to do something different because we need to move some fuel and trusting the VTOL for all of our operations is probably not the best thing. So let's, uh, let's not waste any more time. Let's run over to the garage and let's get started. All right, just coming over to the garage now. Let's check our fuel real quick. Uh, 2,000 liters of jet fuel and four and a half thousand of diesel. Not terrible, but not great. Uh, let's let's jump in. I want to build something real quick.
all right here we go um so yeah i think that we needed a vehicle that could actually just travel over there bring our fuel back to here and then we could just instantly spawn it into tanks and then start taking it from here i think that would be the quickest and safest way to do it so i've built ourselves a tank tank or a tank tanker uh you guys come up with some funny names you guys are great at that uh but what we got on the back here is i started out with one of our 40,000 liter tanks these are the same tanks that are on our oil rig that are just vertical that are storing jet and diesel uh so it'll be an easy swap there uh all the same controls on the back uh we've got tank treads so we got tank steering and we've got some uh some driving ability and that's about it a couple gauges to kind of read what's going on so let's, uh, let's see if this thing drives really well and let's get it over to our oil rig is it gonna work for us Oh, it does drive. All right, cool. Oh, crap, and we're off already. Nice, so I don't have to do any tuning to it. Maybe I'll mess with the gearboxes a little bit. Uh, I think I set them for two to one just by default. And I, th Ooh, I think we're doing okay. We might we might tweak it and depending on, uh, hopefully, you know what? Now that I'm thinking about that, hopefully uh, the gear settings are good enough to be able to drag this fuel back with all this weight. Uh, only one way to find out, I guess. So let's get over there to the oil rig. Let's start pumping some diesel first into this, and we'll start bringing diesel back, and then we'll start bringing our jet fuel back. All right, there's the oil rig. I thought something was wrong for a second. We just came up on the, uh, the, the opposite side I was expecting. Uh, let's come over here and pull up next to... Ooh, okay. Always getting squirrely when I slow down here. Let's pull up right here next to our diesel, and we'll stop right here. I think we're good to go. We'll go ahead and got that off should be perfect all right let's grab some hoses let's get our hoses wait that's not a hose where is our hoses oh we got hoses over here inventory full all right how much diesel do we actually have in here Fifteen thousand. that's actually not bad let's go ahead and activate our pump we want to pump out we're gonna come down here and we're gonna hook up to here we want to turn the pump on and it's so strong that it's pulling the uh the vehicle that's awesome awesome that hoses weigh that much uh let's grab another hose we'll put it right there and we'll put it right here and i think we can get one more hose on here maximum flow here all right we'll grab that one now we got to be careful i don't know if i if i pull too much diesel out if i'm going to shut the system down so i got to be careful not to take all the diesel out but there should be enough in the lines that it wouldn't cause problems but we'll, we'll make sure we leave some just in case all right, looking good. It is flowing fast though, so we gotta make sure we pay attention to this. Oh, 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 oh! Ooh, it got quick. I got down to 50, and it was really, really close. Uh, so we should have something to keep running the refinery there. I don't know how well that's gonna. We're already producing, so we're good here. Okay, so I'm just gonna take the hoses off here. We will go ahead and take our diesel back to base. We can come back and grab the. How much do we have jet fuel here? 20,000 liters of jet fuel. That's quite a bit of money. So that's pretty good. Let's go ahead and move our diesel out of here. Okay, I hear you. We got 15,000 here. Let's go ahead and get that to base. Because that would be nice. Oh, look at that. We can see the tank. Tank's only like a portion full. Okay. We'll start up. Let's see if we can get out of here. No damaging things. And we're good with this amount. So pretty good. All right, so we're just going to take this back. Uh, wow, it got really foggy. Really foggy. Uh, we're just going to take this back. We'll dump it into the uh, base just by despawn, which will be awesome. We'll have 15,000 liters of extra diesel, which will be awesome. Uh, we can come back and grab this jet fuel so that it's empty and it can keep producing. Because once it's once it fills up, it's not going to be able to put any more in there. So we're going to need to have room for all this. So we're just going to keep bringing it back and forth, back and forth. This will be little side missions that we can achieve here. And uh, we'll, we'll just constantly have fuel. Now, I can start working back on the VTOL, getting that working. And then we can spawn in a giant container that I can then fly over to the military base. Uh, and we can sell that jet fuel. That would be the way to start making some money there. Uh, and we can just kind of hang on to the diesel as we need it. Uh, maybe sell it if we need to make some extra cash. But uh, the VTOLs, they, they tend to get a little thirsty when you start pumping the RPMs room so uh we'll have to do that anyway let's go ahead and get back to the base with this load and we'll see where we go from there all right we're just pulling to the garage now that uh that light that's right there that's flashing i swear i thought it was a couple uh meteor impacts and i was getting a little nervous but i didn't want to say anything until i got a little closer to figure out what it was but yeah definitely the light uh but i thought the meteors were hitting right here uh let's despawn this how much do we uh let's see grab it and now we've got twenty thousand liters of diesel amazing 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 let's do this uh one more time let's get this out we'll go get the diesel or excuse me we'll go get the jet fuel 
Uh, we're gonna get the jet fuel from that, and then that way they have plenty of room to refill back up. But I'm really, I really dig this little vehicle. It's it's got one purpose, and that is just to literally go back and forth and run the fuel. And I think it's great, honestly. Uh, we'll probably be using this quite a bit, running back and forth here. Ah, uh, if we could, if I could rebuild it, maybe uh, make the go come back to the uh, the road train idea, where we could do a couple of them, where I could drag two of these down there with me so I could do jet and diesel at the exact same time on uh, one trip. Maybe that's what we'll do. Maybe we'll uh, we'll redesign this a little bit so that I can haul two of these guys together. That would be cool. Don't need it to carry any more. Uh, any more than that would just be uh, one chaos and a little overkill because uh, we're just going to leave the oil there. We're not going to be moving the oil around. But yeah, uh, again, I'm just excited about this vehicle, so I'm talking a lot, and let's just go ahead and get there and get that jet fuel. All right, we're back at the rig here. Let's uh, pull back into where we were. Okay, I've n I'm not planning this out. Oh, okay. It's got a little too much oomph on the uh, the get-go. So we've got to work out these gearboxes a little bit. Oh, and I just stalled it. Can I just, uh, can I get right here? Close enough? Close enough. All right, where is the hoses? All right, we're gonna be good here. Let's turn it on, pump in. Go grab our hoses again. If we were smart, we put them up. Yep, we put them up. We'll pump it out. Activate pump, pump out, and we'll come plug them into here. And we should be, yep, now we're getting jet fuel. All right, let's get the other hoses hooked up. This should make it a lot quicker, and we can get this stuff out of here. Second hose is connected. Third hose, let's see, connect there, and we will connect here. And now we just wait for that sweet, sweet jet fuel. All right, and it's pumping. And we're already up to a thousand, uh, just over a thousand diesel again already. Uh, so this thing is cranking. How much oil do we got? Uh, we are maxed out on our oil here uh, because we can't take any more into the tank. Uh, there is more oil here, I guarantee you, but uh, we are we are stuck here. Hmm. Start producing more. Yeah, I think the refinery is just not quick enough to keep up with the actual pump jack. I think we probably need two or three of these actual refineries to uh to actually produce but none to worry we just we've got a constant production of fuel here and it will always be here which is great uh yeah so that's that let's uh let's check on this how far are we uh we got four thousand liters to go we're almost there all right and we're done and oh of course a siren's coming in always 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 okay so now panic mode let's uh let's get this fuel of course we're carrying jet fuel let's get the jet fuel back to base oh my gosh oh of course of course of course of course always with me always all right let's go let's go let's get out of here we've got so much jet fuel on board what could this be luckily i've got a helmet on uh in the vehicle so you guys don't have to listen to that um that makes things so much more pleasant but i do not know what this is you can just faintly hear it from the uh the hospital uh let me hop out of the seat. There you go. Yep, it's still roaring. Um, I don't know what this is. I just want to get back. I feel like every episode we've had a rogue wave, it feels like. Every single episode. All right, now I can really hear the sirens because we got that one going. We got the one at our home base going. I think we can hear Erin Wind as well. So there's so many sirens going off right now. All right, it's all good. Uh, sirens still going, but we have just made it back to base. We can go ahead and despawn this guy here and uh save our jet fuel here if i can get out of the seat there we go that is saved siren oh my god siren obnoxious we've talked about that so we got twenty thousand liters of diesel and twenty four thousand liters of jet fuel um what's what's going off here uh i guess we just sit and wait All right, well, the siren's quitting, um, and nothing happened, so we, we panicked for nothing. Uh, good old classic Stormworks with their, uh, their fake sirens there. Uh, so, yeah, I, uh, I think I'm actually going to end it here. Uh, it was quite a productive day. We, uh, we got a new build done, uh, which was awesome. I really love my new tank tank. Uh, and we've got some fuel transported over here to our base for uh, safekeeping. So now nothing can really happen to this uh, until we spawn it out again and actually take it to the airport. Uh, so where is the actual airport base? Uh, is that something that I have found already? Uh, that is all the way up here. Okay, so we need to come all the way up here and deliver it to this pier. Uh, so that is going to be a trip for the VTOL. Uh, how, how far is that? That is, let's check our, uh, 
check our mileage there on that 32 and a half k i think we could do that easily with the vtol without running out of fuel but we've got to get our vtol working in proper conditions so that is that is the goal for uh next time uh i'm gonna get the vtol working and get it uh, all squared away i think i figured out the problems with it um Thank you all again for all the comments and the, the suggestions on what to check. Uh, I've never run into so many issues with a VTOL before in game. So it, it's, it's kind of, it kind of wore me out a little bit, uh, trying to figure out what was wrong with it. But uh, I think I've figured out the bugs. We'll, we'll see. We'll see once we get it actually back into a game and see what it does. Uh, Cause you know how things like to do different and creative and multiplayer and things like that. So yeah, we're gonna sell this jet fuel next time. That is the plan. And 20,000 20, liters. Uh, so a hundred and some, some thousand bucks. Uh, that should be good. We'll, uh, we'll start getting up there. Um, and we need to start researching. Am I researching anything? Just for the sake of it. Let me see if I'm researching anything. I am not. You know what? Let's go ahead and do Arctic stuff. That way we can do an Arctic run in the future. Uh, when, when we're actually ready for it, we can go ahead and do it. We'll have heaters and, uh, heaters and Arctic gear ready to go. So yeah, guys, again, thanks so much for watching. I appreciate you hundred uh, percent. if you are enjoying this video, make sure you throw a like on this video, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already, and we will see you guys in the next one. Hopefully we're running jet fuel.